Welcome to Talk of the Town. I am Carrie Dillon sitting in for Sandy Benson. Our first guest today, this is such a great story. This is like creative leadership you will see. This is Art Gopalan, so glad to have you here. Uh, thank you very much, Carrie. Mm -hmm. This is such a cool event. Okay, so this is a juried art show. That is correct. For eighth graders. It's yes. in its fourth year. It's yes. going to be at the Bluffton Library. That is correct. Tell us a little bit about what's going on, because yes. the, the interesting part of this is how you kind of fit into this as well. It's just yes. such a cool story. Yes. Um, it, uh, what, it's, what it is is I wanted to make sure that the kids that are not athletes have other means to show their talent and for the community to enjoy. So this is one way to do the artist, uh, artistic skills of the kids, bring them out through a juried art show, which means that it's an excellent, uh, the outstanding uh, pieces yeah, will this be This is displayed. like premiere show. Premier show. I mean, show. This, is, this is not like, oh, would you like to no. be in a show? No, this is a juried show. A juried what, art show. Tell people what that means, because what, it's, it's what like that that's an art is, term. What that means is, we collect, there are now four schools participating. This is the fourth year we are doing. And the students then submit their work to their teachers, our teachers, and we collect them in February. And we then get uh, SOBA, Society of Bluffton Artists, yep. uh, the, the premier uh, society in, artist society in Bluffton. They provide us with three judges and they go through them and select 30 pieces out of probably about 80 pieces. Wow. And those 30 pieces, the, re the reason it's 30 is because that's only how many pieces you can display at the library. Okay, Bluffton Library. Bluffton yeah. Library. And uh, so we select, the, uh, they select those 30 pieces and they also select the top three. And what we do then, we take that up to the Great Frame Up, a great framing shop in uh, Plantation Drive. And they have been with us for four years. Yeah. Stephen Ball was, was fantastic. And it was kind of a, one of those matches made in heaven because he had, they had wanted to do something like this. Exactly. And you brought the opportunity with this project. Exactly. I love exactly. it when that works exactly. out. Exactly. And they do the mounting, professional mounting, and then we display the pieces. The exhibit opens on April 8th, which is next Monday, yep. and runs through May 11th. But the significant part of it is that through April, through the month of April, we also set up a ballot box so that the people that go to the library can uh, vote for their top three choices. So they can weigh in on it, they just the participants in. can exactly, weigh in. Exactly, exactly. So the community participates in the artistic display that the kids have made. That is and, so cool. And, and, then, and then what happens is, then we'll, we, we collect the ballots, tabulate them, got the three top three choices, and on May 7th, which is a Tuesday, it's open to the public. At 5.30, we hold an artist reception. Yes. And we award prizes uh, to the not only SOBA selected top three, but also People's Choice top wow. three. Now, the th interesting thing is buffs who are the trophy people in Buford yeah. are uh, donating uh, very well-crafted ribbons for the oh. award. So it, you see, it's a, it's a total community affair. It the sure sponsors is. are Bluffton Library, mm -hmm. Society of Bluffton Artists, and the great frame up, Stephen Ball and, and their great crew, and Buffs. Now, so are all 30 entries being framed, or is it the top three that win framing? No, they, all of them will be mounted. They are not framed <sighs> okay, per mounted, se, mounted, mounted. matted, and so forth. That is such, I mean, that just, that changes the voice of the piece when you have somebody who oh, knows how to do that. Yes. And just brings it to life in a new way. Now, we have a, a piece right here that yes. this is the, this, the this is, poster, yeah. and this yes. is done, this is a, a, a uh, pencil. Yes, colored, colored pencil, pencil piece by an eighth piece, grader. Art by eighth grader, Neely Albert of Cross Schools. We ask every year different schools, a student to make the art for the poster. And, and then it gets selected. And they, and, and, and they, they, they then, then the teacher submits that to us and we make the poster out of it. 
and that's how they participate as well. So, so cool. it is totally top down, all, all, all across is student, student, students. And magnificent. Uh, the community can get involved, they yes. can come vote on it. Now, yes. you want to check this out April 8th through May 11th, free at the Bluffton Library. That's correct. Thank you so much for being here. You are very welcome, Terry.